I have the volume <clears throat> on the stereo just low enough to where I can jam, but the angel of immolation can't hear it. The AI. I decided to call it the angel of Im Im <laughs> the angel of immolation. I told you about a guy in the past that called to me in the 11th hour. And when I came, he retreated back into the world, even from his deathbed. I remember that he worked for a man, a local, um, you know, demigod around here, I guess in the PG Charles, Southern Maryland area. Yes, I will mention his name for the sake of the others. I will mention his name. I only know him as Mr. Turner. I never met the man, but I know that he was lauded by my friend, the one that called to me in the 11th hour. Lauded, maybe that doesn't do this Mr. Turner justice Billy didn't laud him Billy idolized him <sighs> Billy wanted to be like him And I remember Billy sharing a quote from this businessman, Mr. Turner, who by this time had passed away, yet Billy still worked for the company, <clears throat> I guess, up in, you know, close to the end, you know, he didn't work, he couldn't work anymore because of his uh, ultimate <laughs> and one of the few things that has ever come from Billy's mouth that I don't know that I will ever forget. Many nice things came from Billy's mouth. But one of the things I think I shall never forget is when he spoke of this idol, Mr. Turner, who had so diligently or foresightedly, I've made a will, okay, I'm 59, I have my will made out. This is prudent. <coughs> because I have things, material uh, of de gauze. <laughs> That's why I buy the cars mostly. I think I've touched on that, is to look at them more than drive them. I like pretty things, as I am not, to behold. That just is. I figured I'd take a, a jab at myself here during this post. I always enjoy doing that. Self-abasement. That's why I've told you all in the past, don't bother trying to come at me with anything at all. <laughs> I've already done it to myself. You're, you're going to come up short. I'm just going to look at you and smile. Go, that's, that's your best shot. That, that's all you've got. <laughs> yeah, he said, he spoke of this demigod, Mr. Turner, and how he'd so, this man of the world, this powerful businessman, had made provisions, oh, well beyond a living trust or estates or anything like that. Apparently, he had set up something, which I'm sure is bullshit, because he did. 
but to the best of his knowledge with his attorneys, he'd set up something so that I know, I, I, I know, I belabor because I want to get up to the quote and I want to deliver it to you all by itself for what it is and let it stand alone and the quote is coming soon because I want to really inflect or emphasize the absolute absurdity of this statement. Spoken by man, not spoken by God. You've heard me touch on, it is written, before I knit you in your mother's womb, I knew you. Uh, scripture from the canonized works of the Bible. That's nonsensical, that statement. To the world, it's absolutely nonsense. To me, it's a love note. To me, it's a little secret note slipped to me in class saying, I love you. I think about you. Yes. The quote I'm about to tell you about that sounds, in my opinion, equally absurd, spoken by man, the world. And here's the quote that Billy was so enamored with from this man. He set up everything so that he can rule from the grave. set things into motion, legalities, legal instruments, so that he can rule from the grave. I don't even have any words after that. It was not a pleasant day for yours truly when those words were spoken to me by my friend who found obvious adoration for said words. And so I'll close on something trite, unless God Daddy wants to. This is your cue. I will remind you that friendship with the world is enmity with God. You must choose a team whether you believe you have to or not. You've heard of the expression guilty by omission. If you do not choose him, capital H, then you will choose not him by your very omission, by your apathy, by your pride, possibly fear. You will not seek him out. And you, too, will rule from the grave.